like the money print. Okay, let's see niggas. What it is, people? It's your boy, Kells. Can you with a wetto? And if it's your first time here, can you please hit that red button on subscribe button, like, share, comment, tell a friend who knows a friend why? Because this is the greatest fucking channel. You feel me? Yes, it is. People, we back, man. Y'all just don't understand how hard it was for me to get videos up for y'all the last day. Nigga, I think I started uploading the video yesterday at 3 o'clock, and that bitch didn't finish uploading until like 9 this morning. Yeah, it takes forever to you. you get your stuff right, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't be trying to like editing and doing all this shit for real, because I mean, last video I did that, it took forever. I was day. So, yes, no. But look, man, we here. Uh, we finna jump into it, man. King Crooked and Jewels, man. Apparently, like, just to add some context, you know, was watching Joe Budden show yesterday, the podcast, and he got to speaking on something, and I was like, what the fuck is he talking about, right? Just so happened, a spaces pop up where Joel and Crooked were speaking, and now I'm just like, damn, for real, what the fuck going on? Come to find out, Joel and Crooked are tired of waiting on Joe, and for some reason, uh, Royce don't want to do the Slaughterhouse music without Joe. So they decided, since it's the 10 year anniversary of their album, you know what I'm saying, that they gonna come together and pretty much kill Slaughterhouse. What you think Joe gonna say? <laughs> oh, I think this is exactly what Joe Button is gonna say after he hears the entire album. All right, everyone. I know what you want me to talk about. You want me to talk about the rise and fall of Slaughterhouse? Great piece of work. I'm not gonna lie, great piece of work. The guys got off their truth. Mind you, their truth. See, the actual truth is much different. Maybe I'll talk about it, maybe I won't, but clap it up for the guys, they got a good project out. Fuck out of here, Joe. <laughs> they got a whole album uh, called The Death of Sl Slaughterhouse or some shit like that. <laughs> <coughs> God. Joe wanted to go off, man. They did a confessional. Like, <laughs> 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 yo, shut the fuck up. I'm asking you if you saw what I, I saw. saw it. I saw it. They burnt up. They burnt up. No, no, where'd you, you even find a pig? Y'all burnt a fucking pig. Fam. You fam. <laughs> they burnt a pig. Oh, man. They burnt the merch. <laughs> of something they own. They burnt a whole pig. Why are they burning their merch? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, oh, uh, this video came out a couple days ago. We like, it don't matter. Fuck Joe Budden. Respectfully. Oh my God. Why you always gotta hate? <laughs> Now, what if Ian wanted to manage us when we started our podcast, but now that you alienated, alienated you fucked up with Joe. Alienated, and no, <laughs> and bro, and no, I, I said respectfully. So, when he hear you, he Just because like, you say respectfully don't make it right. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> Mic check, one, two. Real talk. Hey, let the choir do what it do. Let the church, let the church speak to him. Shit, let me speak to him. Get up on the altar, man. Word. I remember we was on the road on one of them tours, like, hold on. We got the number one album in the country, it's so on. They called us Voltron, where did we go wrong? We supposed to did this music shit for so long. Instead, it's so long. The house is vacant, your mouse is making that podcast money talking foul and flagrant. Right from his couch, I'm hating. Royce Grammy Nog came without debating. The allegory's a wild creation. I'm happy you got to smell your flowers, baby. And crook, shit, crook still out here being crook. Got every rapper shook, they ain't never used a book for a verse or a hook. House slippers, human, Mona Lisa and Monday, hard, gorilla glue. Yo, Fred will laugh again one day, damn, where did time go? Slaughterhouse been apart like nine, yo. You ask why? I wish I had them answers, I don't Just know that pig shit'll never resume Emails, phone calls and Zoom Still not enough to get us all in a room Roy said he ain't doing a three man without Joe But Joe said he retired, so how the hell is supposed to go? I looked in the eyes of Crooked Eye, said one last time, he said let's go So this one's for the fans and anyone else who wants to know Why the best group ever turned out to be one of the best groups that never Got back to his son after the shady era Shit, Paul was 
wasn't on his best behavior And Joe's comments about M left no revival for major endeavors So the gang dropped the flag, got off the label Back and forth, drawn out lawyer to lawyer But today we're able to say we're free But we ain't eating at no round table It's rectangle, me and Crook in a Bojangles Back to this chicken from rapping incisions Cutting the hardest vocals you can imagine or vision Man, this half is just different I hope the other half will listen Put the business in the back And get back to business retirement, the nigga was preaching that if they get it off shade, then we can go back to doing what we do. Right. right. They got off shade. Right. M had no problem with it because M wanted the group to grow. Right. And from even though the first album was a success, the way that the people took the album, it was too Eminem-ish. M told them straight up, the second album ain't touched. Work who with you who you want to work with. Do y'all. I'm I'm the won't have no input. Right, so right. he still he stepped back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that wasn't good enough. Which is cool because Joe wanted to own the shit. Which is cool ownership. So we get it off. Then why we can't go back to business? Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So it's Joe. It's so Joe. it's me. It's me. <laughs> it's always Joe. Fuck him respectfully. It's always Joe. Like everything that makes you love Joe, he Make eventually 
Fucks it up. <laughs> they bet you ate them. Come on, Joe. Get some shit together. Hurry him up. Right. And it ain't hot now. Get your shit together. All right? You can't keep going back to your past and then bumping up shit, all right? Bro. Like he slid. Get Slaughterhouse back together. I don't know if y'all don't know this, but those are two of the most talented spitters in the world. <laughs> in the world. Yeah, they, that eight verses is crazy. <laughs> but they do this on the regular. <laughs> if you have not listened to anything from Joel or Crooked Eye, Crooked Eye, <laughs> Keep saying then that. please, because that's how far I go back with this nigga. He wasn't doing shit. What was he doing at Death Row? Bro, he had songs with Forget they had pop, man. You will fuck a battle respectfully. Bro, you got to quit disrespecting niggas who gonna potentially be watching the video who might want to fuck with you, boy. You got to stop doing it, bro. Wait, they you can still do that. Look, that, look, they don't, they don't mean how. to stop doing it. Oh, wow. <laughs> we didn't get the support of the up churches. The, the 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 king losses or the nigga fans <laughs> talking shit. Right, but you didn't I didn't say you hear me talk shit about them. But right, you just said nobody gave a fuck about that nigga cause Pac was so <laughs> Bro, nobody got thought about when Pac was on the label. What are we talking about? <laughs> say it. But cricket eye is definitely No, but right, but no, but real talk, but you put right when we we talk about lyrics though, no, real shit though, no, just all bullshit side. No. No, real talk. That, real oh talk. God, that, like, that, that yeah, them like real talk, them lyrics is crazy. No, like, no lie. Like, just please do yourself a favor. Like when you a lyricist, that's how it is. Please go do yourself a favor. I swear to you, everything you listen to from Cricket Eye is gonna make you get the fuck up. It's gonna give you that screw face, everything. 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 If I was you, I would listen. Slaughterhouse, I will listen to either Royce or Crooked first. Yeah, Royce is crazy. One of them two, you can't go wrong. There's one A and one B with Royce and Crooked. I swear to God. Then you can go to Jewel or Joe or Joe and Jewel, however you want to put it. But niggas got to quit sleeping on Joe, too. Joe last, respectfully. Shit, respectfully not. <laughs> Respectfully, not Joe Lay. Bro, Joe only got the star appeal. Mood music. That's, the that's all appeal. I gotta say. Mood, mood nah, music. Joe, Joe, Joe do got the star appeal though. But respectfully though, <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> it's your boy King. King D with a weather. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, subscribe, tell a friend who knows a friend. And like I said. Them niggas, you know what I'm saying? They cool, man. Like I said, they shit them crazy. motherfucking cells and on, bro. Man. I'm not talking about it. Come on, now. Black History Month. Come on, now. Gotta stop that. It won't be tomorrow when this video go up. Let's <laughs> only put Bow Wow on an all-time corny rappers list, and he ain't like that shit. I want to put two more niggas in the all-time corny rapper list. Who the hell shit? Because I want to put two more niggas in the all-time corny rapper list, yo. And I see niggas hate this tech, but have them in this ring. Okay. Remember all the contenders. Okay. When it comes to paper. Okay. Who the all evil leggers that I'm a sinner. Okay. Money on my mind is all that I can think of. Okay. So you ain't got to not know I'm all about my dog. Okay. Oh. Any pips, call it Dominique Dawes, the lemon ones and pussy. Oh, my God.